welcome in. Sorry, I'm still kind of setting up. <laughs> Ooh, gotta move my chair, my desk chair up a little bit so I can see my phone screen, read you guys' messages. Um, welcome in. I hope everyone had a good weekend, a good Tuesday. Um, it's a little dreary over on my end, so we got the candle out for the vibes. We got our good old plant friend. Um, I was told in the comments of one of my videos that someone recognized my plant before they recognized like my art or the background or anything like that. And they're like, that plant, that's Castanel Designs. And I was like, you know what? Y'all want to make my, my pothos here uh, iconic? Make him iconic. He loves that. Um, but yes, welcome in everyone. Wow, y'all jumped in quick. Hey, Rain. Good to see you. Hey, Salem. Hey, Apple. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hey, um, Audrey, let me know if it's Adri, Adriana, or Adrian, and let me know if you want me to put the Audrey twist to it, because I know you like that sometimes, so let me know. Um, welcome in how is everyone i just got discord yeah swag welcome in i do always ping everyone in the discord whenever i go live those that don't want to join that's fine they can just ignore the notification um for those that do want to join and always forget uh the notification is there to help uh, but welcome in <laughs> hi mama hope your rainy day is cozy i got my sweater on i'm very cozy uh, but yeah, welcome in Adrian. Good to see you. Yes, what pronouns are is uh, both of you guys using today? Let me know. Uh, y'all, if you will, if you don't like the term guys, um, y'all, the gender neutral term <laughs> for multiple people, y'all. Um, I feel I, I always feel so southern when I say it and it started as kind of like a joke when I moved um because everyone said it where I moved to and then it just kind of stuck and now I just say y'all all the time completely unironically uh so yeah <laughs> just got my string of hearts silver glory in the mail oh my gosh did you send it in the discord I definitely want to see sounds super cute My lemon drizzle bear. I love that name. It's good to hear. I'm not using any pronouns today, so y'all can just use my username. Um, be, oh gosh, it's been so long and I still haven't figured out how to pronounce that in French. Butter in French, if you will. Um, or Adri. I will use Adri. Um, yes, let me. Just because I can't pronounce it. And since I'm the only one speaking here. I'm going to make a fool out of myself mispronouncing butter in French. It is butter, right? Am I incorrect in that assumption? I, I assume it's butter. I crave more plants always. I'm not dead. Sorry I was sick for the last couple lives. I slept early. All good. Sleep as much as you need to. I understand uh, the European friends need all the sleep they can get because my lives are pretty late for them over there. So uh, do what you will. He they, thanks for letting me know. You can never go wrong with y'all, for real, cat. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. Yes, um, hope you feel better. Yes, I hope you feel better too. Um, get a lot of sleep, get some fluids in ya, get some water, some Gatorade, if you will. <laughs> Not yet, but I will now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't wait to see it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm doing all right now, I'm better now. That's good to hear. Um, yeah, it's butter in French. My sis gave me that name. Uh, name. I love that. I think that's super cute. I feel like I can say it, but I also don't want to embarrass myself, so I won't. <laughs> um, I mispronounce way too many things way too often, so yeah. Uh, but welcome in. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cass. I go by she, they pronouns. Um, I am a self-employed artist and I do this for a living. I have an Etsy shop if you want to check it out. Um, and I also do commissions. Um, if you have the need, the generosity in your hearts and the overwhelming need to donate money to me, I will eternally be grateful. Um, I will draw you a low effort doodle of whatever you want. Um, but make sure that you do do it through my coffee donation page, also linked in the bio, instead of gifts, because TikTok gifts are trash and they only give the creator 30% of what you spend on the gift. 
and thank you and welcome in and i hope you have a great time <laughs> this is an lgbtq safe space you don't gotta be gay but you gotta respect the gays and that's all i ask and welcome in i hope everyone has a great time hope you all enjoy your stay here with me doing the art thing um i've had a pretty emotional day today pretty stressful day today um my anxiety was at an all-time high this last week so we're gonna have a pretty laid back stream i got the avatar lo-fi beats going on in the background if you would like that playlist i will drop it in the discord um and we're probably gonna have a short stream i'm probably gonna finish up in an hour hour and a half um so just letting y'all know i still wanted to come and hang out with y'all but i just wanted to be transparent um that i did have a lot happen to me recently um so i'm a little out of it um sip some chai tea i do have some chai tea bags um i could make some chai tea after work anxiety went brr yeah <laughs> that's how i'm assuming how you would say it out loud like brr like i'm cold but like brr like computer glitch error <laughs> yeah uh yes hey apple welcome in handsome butterscotch baby oh my gosh i didn't see you pop in kai hey back from a trip hey welcome in welcome in hey ren good to see you um eat up my bud yes uh hey there you go did you give me another name you go to call you by let me know i want to make sure again gentle reminders i have bad memory but i try my best um what <laughs> it's been two weeks how's everybody doing doing better doing better i won't lie it's been rough but i'm doing better love to hang out with y'all good hoping everyone else is good too yeah uh -huh. if anyone's new my name is adrian yes i missed the last couple lives completely on accident oh no t sounds good yes don't mind me asking i'm sorry i forgot um but what do you go by love uh yes please always reminders about pronouns is always good um i know i'm cold goes by rin as the name that they prefer that their name is um i go by cube that's right okay okay i won't lie i simply i don't know what i was doing it was something completely random in my day-to-day -day life and i was just like cube that's right someone in my live goes by cube and i think that's a pretty dope name and then I completely moved on with my day and I couldn't connect the username to the name Cube, but I just remembered someone in my live was named Cube. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate it, Cube. Welcome back in. Love the name. Love the name. Got a haircut. Head feels so light. Yes, we love that feeling. It is summer. It is hot. We are not sweating with all this hair. It's a party in here today. Yeah, there's so many people. Y'all popped in quick. Cube, I like it. Yeah. Zeus made his presence known today after he weighed, and I did not appreciate it. Oh, no. Yeah, I hope it cooled off, too. Guys, I'm out to everyone in my immediate family except my older bro. Oh, my gosh. Congrats, Kai. I'm so proud of you. That's so exciting. Oh, congrats. Uh, she, her, here. Rain is the best name to refer me by as. Awesome. Um, I hope it goes well with your other brother as well. They're not accepting, but at least it's off my shoulders. That's really frustrating. Um, as long, I, I know the goal, the ideal is to have everyone be super accepting and supportive of, um, the LGBTs. Um, however, if that isn't what happens, uh, it's always good to at least have people that are, that won't put your life in danger. Um, that is always the worst possible outcome is if it turns violence in any way or harmful or hurtful to you um, by coming out. And I'm glad that that isn't the reaction they went with. It is still disappointing that they aren't respectful um, or uh, supportive. You said respectful, right? Is that the word? I'm sorry, my brain just went burr. <laughs> Um, but we always know that you, uh, accepting, that's what you used. Um, always know that you're accepted here. Um, we will always use the pronouns that you want to use. Uh, we will always accept you and love you and support you. Again, LGBTQ safe space. Um, and I'm sorry that you don't get that in, in your household. 
Of course, I'm glad you like the name. Yeah. Hey, Coat Pocket. Hello, I'm new. Love the sunflower. Very cute. Um, Coat Pocket, let me know um what your name is. If you want to go by a name other than the Coat Pocket. If you rather just call you Coat Pocket, I can. Um, and your pronouns if you're comfortable with sharing. Um, I'd love to get to know you a little better and have you be as comfortable as you can be here. Yes, we love you, Kai. Welcome to the party. Yeah. It's nice to be back in these live. I feel safe. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh my gosh, I'm really behind. Okay, let me quickly read through um, so I can catch up to the present day. Um, yes. First bus ride solo. I remember you told us in the Discord. I'm so proud of you too, Adrian. I summon the corn. <laughs> summon corn. Uh, yeah, I've been avoiding my mom, so I at least not get dead named again. You'll never be dead named in my lives, and I'm so sorry if your mom um, doesn't understand. I'm hoping that it's just kind of like a, a confusing thing and that like it's going to take her a while to understand and that she's not doing it out of ill will or ill intent. Um, I hope it gets better soon for you. I really do. I call for my soulmate and the one that's stolen my heart. Uh, I summon thee, my queen bee. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all crack me up. Um, the coat pocket, just to let you know if this is not the chaos you are expecting, both of my mods, Salem and Corn, uh, decided to get engaged in my live. Um, internet engaged, of course. Uh, so they're dating. They are the moms of the group. The moms and the mods. <laughs> Uh, hope you enjoyed the live, dear. Yes. Oh, snap. I'm Alex. Okay. Hey, Alex. And I go by she, they. Oh my gosh. Another she, they. I'm Cass. I also go by she, they. Um, let me know if there's one that you perform more than the other or one that you may not hear more than the other. Um, I know right now I'm more performing, preferring they, them because that is not something I hear in my day-to-day -day life. Um, but I do go by both. So like you can never offend me by calling me she, her you feel but let me know if you're the same way or if you honestly just go by both just let me know let me know i want to make sure everyone's comfortable here we got the candle we got the plants we got the cool art this is comfort settings <laughs> y'all are too cute the moms are together <laughs> corn is the cute one on the annoying gremlin <laughs> nice to meet you guys i love the chaos good 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 Oh, but I love good tips on making tea. Ooh. Can I talk to you as another child? <laughs> Y'all are the sweetest. Oh, God. Um, I worked on this a little bit over the weekend. I finished up a commission. Um, so I had a little bit extra time. Of course, the client got back to me and said that there needs to be some revisions. So I do have to still work on those, but I needed a breather from that project because I had been working on it nonstop. Um, so I did work a little bit on here. I added some vines up in the corner here and I added the grass down in these broken bits. And of course, the vines here. Um, and today we're going to be working on the greenery that's coming out of the laundromat, the, the washer machine, if you will. If Alex gets adopted, then we shall have seven children. That's a lot of children. Um, I'm the aunt, by the way. This is how I factor into the family. The chaotic aunt that made the space. <laughs> uh, I shall not be adopted. I'm grown. <laughs> Rain, do you want to just, uh, what part of the family would you factor into? I'm the aunt. I mean, you can be another aunt. Or if there's another way you want to factor in. Do you want to be a cousin? Are you a cousin? Let me know. <laughs> do you want to be an uncle? Do you want to be an uncle? Or a gruncle? What is their gender neutral term for that? I know nibbling is the gender neutral term for niece, nephew. I'm confused now. Um, you already adopted no argument. <laughs> if you weren't aware, I'm the chaotic gremlin responsible snake names like Gerald. Yes. Oh, but are you going to be a cool aunt, uncle? Yeah, new sibling. I accept being plant aunt. Yeah, we got another aunt. I'm bad influence eldest. <laughs> The oldest quadruplet for anyone. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> wrong account again. All good Neo, good to have you in. Nuncle is what me and my friends came up with. Ooh, yes, I've definitely heard uncle where it's like mixture of aunt and uncle and I've heard grunkle, um, which was pretty much used by one person in, in particular that um, I listened to their podcast and they go by grunkle. Um, and I don't know if that's in reference to Grunkle Stan from Mystery Shack. What is that show called? I can't think of the show name right now. It's a cartoon. It's really cute. Or if it's just like a term that they gave themselves as a, a non-binary aunt's uncle. You can just, I know y'all feel the, the gears turning in my head. You can feel how hard I'm thinking about this. <laughs> Gravity Falls, that's what it is. Thank you. Um, I knew the name of the shack, did not know the show name. <laughs> oh, gosh. I accept the role as plant art. I should gift everyone plants. I love that. Yes, be careful with the... Uh, that word i will not say it uh, just in case i get banned for saying it how many children do you tend to have i don't know i have a lot of nibblings right now a lot of nieces nephews and nibblings that's all i know <laughs> do you have any succulents i can have as plant Ooh, good question the whole community is big as it grows um hey river welcome in i see i feel like i've been adopted i've just met the whole fam well, um, Alex, if you do want to join, I do have a Discord op if that is something you're interested in so you can enjoy the fun, the chaos, the family um, outside of live days, which I do go live twice a week here on TikTok and once a week on Instagram. I did miss this last Saturday because of life stressors. Um, I just needed, a, I, I really needed just a day to breathe <laughs> but if you want to join i can drop the code which i'm searching for right now yeah it did change welcome to the family yeah yeah let me write down the code real quick Ugh. on my trust dusty piece of paper scrap paper i have Ignore that. That's the old code. That code won't work anymore, I don't think. Ugh. Ugh. Hi. Who says hi? Uh, Helpy Spyble. Welcome in. Let me know if there's a name you rather go by other than your username Um, and what your pronouns are if you're comfortable sharing. Oh, this will not work on that. Give me a marker that works. Maybe. 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 Sharpie works on everything. Okay. Boop, boot a boop, 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 boop. Okay. Hey, Caleb, welcome in. Oh, we got some new people popping in. Hello, everyone. Um, If you're new here, hi, my name is Cass. I go by she, I use she, they pronouns. Wow um i am a self-employed artist i'm currently working on this like deserted laundromat kind of thing um yeah let me know uh what name you go by if it is something other than your username and what your pronouns are if you're comfortable sharing this is an lgbtq safe space you don't gotta be gay but you gotta respect the gays and that's all i ask welcome in and i hope you have a very cozy time it's nice and rainy today so we're having a cozy time Gotta go tell me I said hi. Yeah. Have a good day. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, and thanks for popping in, Swag. I'm still working on my parents to get me Discord, but I'll run them down eventually. Good luck, Kai. Can't wait for you to join. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed playing Gartic Phone on Discord. We'll have to do that again for sure. Um, I'm trying to plan a day that we can do it and we'll work with everyone. And I'll probably put a poll on the Discord soon. Hey, Caleb. Welcome in. I also play Garshik Phone with my family because I think it's a really fun game. Yeah. Gotta go. Bye, guys. Bye, Rin. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. So much serotonin. Another joke. Okay. Why is dark spelt with a C and not a... Or a K and not a C? I don't know. Why is it? 
what did you think of my beautiful voice? I loved it um, because you can't see in the dark. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, well, I'm straight, I think, and you can just call me Kyle. Okay, Kyle, thanks for letting me know. Um, welcome in, and that's totally fine. Like I said, you don't have to be gay. That was a very loud intro. Again, I am listening to the Avatar theme song, not theme song, Avatar Lo-Fi Beats, um, if you're wondering. Yeah, again, you don't have to be gay. You just got to respect the gays. That's all we ask. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Northern English accent is wild. Um, welcome in, Piggy. Piggy Roblox, good to see you. I um, hope you're having a great day. Let me know if there's a name you'd rather go by and um, what your pronouns are if you're comfortable sharing them. Welcome in. Uh, just question myself, it's still a good joke. <laughs> Is mama here yet, mother dearest? I don't think so. Um, they might be busy. Wait, why did you give me Momo's ears? I don't know what's going on with this song. Uh, I can skip it if you like. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know much about Discord. All good, Alex. Just an option if you did want to pop in and join. Um, if you change your mind at any time or want to try it out, just let me know. Um, TikTok is really weird about DMs here, but if you want to DM... I didn't finish what I needed to. If you want to DM me over on Instagram, I answer all my DMs over there. So um, if you ever change your mind and you want the code just to pop in, feel free to do so. Um, yeah that was a very weird so song <laughs> um does anyone else have a mirroring problem where they pick up people's accents so it's fun i occasionally do but it's mostly with like country accents um which is weird because i'm from florida so technically we are the south but we're not like country south so it's different um so like whenever I go to Georgia or Alabama, um, I would pick up like more of a country accent, but that's about it. And it wouldn't be like 24 seven, it would be like just certain words. And I'll be like, what did I just say? <laughs> Thank you, I feel so welcome. Wow, yeah, of course, Alex, love to have you in here. Hope you're having a great day. Um, and I hope this makes your day a little better if you aren't. Yes, yes, sits in quarter waiting patiently. Y'all from Florida too. What up, Florida gang? I really want to leave Florida. I've been here my whole life. Um, I've lived in Florida my whole life. Um, but I did find a little pocket of Florida that I do enjoy. Um, and I'm hoping to move back there very soon. Um, but yeah. The more I think about it though, the more I want to leave. I'm just like, I also only know how to deal with hurricanes. I don't really know other natural disaster so i'm like i can deal my whole life with a hurricane and, and be content with knowing exactly what i need to do but uh, the second a tornado were to hit if i lived in a tornado area i'd be like well this is it this is the end this is where i go goodbye cruel world uh so i have to live in florida <laughs> that's the moral of the story <laughs> with me Yay live! Welcome in, Lydia. Good to see you again. Okay, so it's next to mother waiting for mama. Oh, Nice to see you again. Yeah. I had a really fun when Americans react to my accent because it's so different than the go-to British one. Yeah. It's not Northern British. Yes. I kept waiting to join the live. Hello, everyone. Um. Also, I've heard a lot of people. Wisconsin's good. Oh, I'll have to keep that in mind. My friend just moved to Wisconsin, actually. So I know that she loves it up there. So that might be it. I'm from Texas and Southern accents are still a shock to me. I get that. Bro, I also want to leave. I moved to a few different states and Georgia was pretty nice. I do like Georgia. I have, a I have an uncle that lives in Georgia um, and I do like it up there. So that's always a possibility for me. Still has similar weather. So not too crazy. No, we're going to Iceland, remember? <laughs> yes, we are. I don't know how to handle the snow. Mm, me neither. I haven't seen snow in years. Oh, that's cool. Y'all are going crazy in chat, so I might not get to everyone. Um, but yes. Oh, what I was saying is I've had a few people 
uh, say that they've been missing my lives. They don't see that I'm live ever. Um, if you ever want to get a notification and you aren't in the Discord, or maybe you are in the Discord and you still miss the notification, um, make sure if you go to my account, tap on my tap on my face right there, um, and in the top right corner, it'll be like right over here. There'll be a bell button. And if you hit that, they'll turn on notifications. So whenever I post a video or whenever I go live, they'll send you a notification that I did something. Always hit that if you are upset that you're missing my lives. Again, never feel like you have to be in my lives. I just want to make sure that y'all know I'm here so that we can hang out. Um, but never feel pressured that you have to. So yeah. A little tidbit. Hey Luna, welcome in. Um, what's happening? I'm not fully British. <laughs> As better jobs, true. Uh, ton of snow in February and no one was prepared. Oh no. We're doing family move to Iceland. <laughs> Usually get a sleet, if anything, which smells terrible. Oh no. I just finished my assignment. Oh, congrats. Uh, so I'll be back in 15. Oh, you're going to finish it. Okay, good luck. Good luck, Neo. Wisconsin is prepared for snow. Unlike southern states, we set up for it. True, that is completely true. Got knocked out a few years from ago. Oh, no. So I have to head back to work, so I want to be able to hear. All, got, all good, Alex. It was great seeing you. I'm going to be working on this, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, good luck at work. Say for the good vibes. Yes. Yeah, Luna, of course. Welcome in. Yes. Can you go, please go through the brushes you use for sketches and the different layers. Um, so usually I won't go through different layers because I usually have a shit ton of them. Um, but I will go through this one just because I am still on the line art. So I don't have too many. Um, when I get into coloring, that's just a mess. And that's why I don't go through layers on the coloring layers. But I can show you here. Um, so I'm working on this. It's a abandoned laundromat, so it's a little overgrown. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. You too, Alex. Um, it's nice to draw while listening to stream. I love that. Okay. If you guys are ever wanting to do art while you're watching stream, do it. I love when people do art with me. It makes me more motivated. I love when other people are mo more motivated, so do it. Um, so I can turn off the sketch layer right now, and this is what I'm working on. I do have separate layers for different things just so it's a lot easier to erase. But once I am happy with how the line art looks, I will merge them all together. Um, so right now I have like all the big line, which is more of the perspective, is on this layer. Um, all the laundromat stuff and the like extra little fun things is on this layer. And then I have this layer for the greenery. And since I have some greenery that's going to be overlapping the other greenery to make it easier on myself, I made a second layer of greenery. Um, but that's literally just so it's easier on me so I can erase what's behind without erasing what I just did. So those are the layers I'm currently working on. If you want to see my sketch layers, my sketch layers are a mess and I won't be showing them except for the one layer I need for the drawing. Um, and then the brushes I use, I mainly use this dry ink brush. It comes standard on Procreate and the inking, the inking one, uh, you don't have to pay anything for it. It just comes standard. Um, I did duplicate it and put in my own file folder thing. Uh, so I have all my favorite brushes together. I don't use all of these on a daily basis. They're just there because some of, some art calls for them while some doesn't. So I always use the dry ink mostly for line art. Um, the studio pen I use for filling in large areas for uh, flat colors, so when I'm flat coloring things. And then I use the round brush for shading and highlights and everything like that. And that's pretty much it. If I want to add a little bit of texture, I'll use this, which is a texture brush I downloaded for free, but I do not remember where. I think it might have been on the Procreate website. Um, and then I also use the dust, which I think comes 
free somewhere in one of these lower uh, folders on Procreate. But that's pretty much what I use. I made my own brush for my um, logo. This isn't it. It's one of, one of, somewhere. It's this one, I think. And that's pretty much what I use uh, for a daily basis. Sketching. I was using the pencil brush, but I moved to just using the dry ink since it's what I'm really comfortable with, honestly. It's really similar to micron pens, and that's why I think I'm the most comfortable with it, because that's what I was doing before I moved to digital. Thank you so much. I'm trying to learn my way around Procreate. Always look up YouTube. There are so many YouTube videos out there to help, um, and I looked at a bunch of them. Um, I am still in my first year of uh, being a digital artist. Um, I finally feel comfortable enough to call myself a digital artist um, because I just got into digital arts back in November of 2020. Before there, I was strictly traditional. So I am still learning on a daily basis. Um, I still go to YouTube whenever I'm uh, unsure about something. Um, but yeah. Okay, that line is getting too thick. Okay, let me go back. I did an explanation, so you know I, I did not read much. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Is this where it is? Yes. Um, I'm new to Procreate. All good. Uh, just have to deal with the worst thunderstorms down here. I think I'm used to those. I kind of like storms, like thunder and stuff like that. I think that's really fun. Um, the ground freezes so it doesn't soak in the floods. Ah, ooh, a laundromat. Yes. Yes, for the liner. I'm sorry I wasn't specific. All good. Totally understand. Uh, butterfly. Also, if you have a name that you rather go by, please let me know. Um, that isn't your username. And if you have pronouns that you are comfortable sharing, let us know as well. Try to make everyone comfortable as possible here. So pretty, thank you. This is really creative, wow. Thank you, I appreciate it. We mainly get the eye of hurricane. <laughs> yeah, I have the hurricane, it's not fun, but not gonna lie, it's an adventure. Yeah, y'all pass on hurricanes. I'll stick with snow and occasional tornadoes. You do you, I know hurricanes. Um, you're bad at art. I mean, art is subjective. So I think I'm still learning and growing and I'm happy with where I'm at. And if you think that it's not up to your standards, then you don't have to stay. I always have 80 layers on average, and mine is done the same. I've been in a hurricane before. Fun, right? <laughs> Listen to stream while washing dishes. All good. Thank you for the mute. I appreciate it. Uh, make a lot of layers. Also merge things to settle where I want them. Yes. Thanks for the follow cosplay. I appreciate it. This piece is beautiful. Thank you for your help. Yeah, of course. Thanks for um, joining and, and popping in. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Sometimes I'll have five layers for Johnny and 35 for others. Ooh. I've been really wanting to get down to like using less layers and then I just like double think, overthink. And then I'm like, wait, what if I need another layer? What if I need to go back and erase something on this layer? Um, so then that's how I end up with 60 layers in the end. So uh, that is definitely something I wish I could do, but I can't. So I'm jealous of you, Cube. I've sent Corn the live for the third time. Corn might be busy. Just, uh, yeah. Just limit how many times you send them the, the, the live. They might be busy. I only know hurricanes. Them tornadoes stress me out. I love when cast does lives. Okay, just to let you know, I know Luna uses this emoji a lot. And there's someone else that started using it too. To me, and it might just be me. It might be my generation. Um, but to me, the upside down emoji is like a negative connotation it means like irony or sarcasm or like something is upsetting them underline but they're not gonna let you know so you have to read behind the lines so whenever i see this attached to like a nice comment i'm just so confused because i'm like are you being sarcastic do you not mean this what is happening am i am i the problem am i old am i a boomer now i'm like does this mean something else that i don't know what it means <laughs> Um, so just to let you know, if I'm ever hesitant about responding to a message that has that emoji, that is why. <laughs> yeah, all good. Thanks for the follow, Maya. I appreciate it. Same cast. Okay, I'm glad I'm not alone because for the long, someone literally did in my comments and you know, I like to respond on my comments. So I literally had to be like, it might just be me, but to me, that's not what you think it means. 
and they like profusely apologize and like it's okay it's just like I, I i need to know if this is a new thing is this the new thing in the generation where it means something different i need to stay i need to stay hip i need to not show my age i'm not that old i promise <laughs> um yeah that's true it means something different to us does it really what does it mean to you guys i'm assuming it, it just is like the happy face to me it's like i'm smiling but i'm dying on the inside like i could get that being the meaning but like my first gut reaction is like i'm not no i'm not happy i don't know <laughs> you seem really cool thank you i appreciate it welcome in let me know if you have a name you'd rather go by other than maya um, and let me know uh, your pronouns if you're comfortable sharing them. My name is Cass. I go by she, they pronouns. Um, and this is an LGBTQ safe space. You don't have to be gay, but you do have to respect the gays. That's all I ask. Um, welcome in. And I hope you your stay is comfortable. Uh, thanks for the follow. Oh, you told me your name. Kyle. Thanks for the follow, Kyle. I appreciate it. Short Mango. I love that username. That's cute. Welcome in. I hope you have a great Tuesday. Let me know if there's a name you'd rather go by other than Short Mango and what your pronouns are if you're comfortable sharing. Yeah, it means something diff. Uh, basically means be happy or somewhat aloof. Oh, be happy. I do know what be happy means. <laughs> I'm showing my age so much. I'm not even that old. I am a 90s baby. I will say that I was born in a different century than most of you guys. <laughs> Um, but welcome in. So it's happy plus carefree, basically. Got it. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Maya. Pronouns are she, they, and you can call me M or Maya. Okay. Um, I'll try to call you M because it seems like that's what you prefer first. Whatever you put first in like a thing, I assume that's what you prefer more. So I can call you M. That's fine. My confusion of the <laughs> uses of... <laughs> Yes, Rain. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not the only one confused. I'm glad I mentioned it because this has been eating me up because I'm like, I know this isn't what you mean, but to me, this is what it looks like. Um, <laughs> so I'm glad I probably brought it up. Cass, I'm 18 and I grew up with these emojis and I'm, st <laughs> I'm still confused on what emoji a majority of them mean. There's a new one. I had to recently update my phone because I needed to airdrop something from my iPad to my phone and it wasn't letting me until I upgraded. So I updated my phone and there's a new emoji that's like, there's mist. It's like this emoji just came out of the shower and it's all misty, not sudsy, misty. Like there's a mist around it. And I'm like, what does this mean though? Is this used when you get out of the shower? Like, hey, sorry to message back, was in the shower, misty emoji. Like, what does it mean? When do I use this? Yes, love the love the short mango username. <laughs> so basically, if anyone under 25 is using it, it means happy and carefree. If older, but I'm not. I'm I'm younger than 25 and I don't. I feel like if you're younger than 20, 21 or 20, it, that's when people are using it. It's the the era of the 2000 babies are using it cuz no one in in my the 90s are using it. I can assure you that. My brother doesn't even know what the lesbian stereo, the gay stereotype of not being able to sit properly means. He didn't think that was a thing. And I'm like, but it is. He didn't know cuff jeans were a gay thing. And I was like, but they are. <laughs> My brother is only 20, he's 26 now. But like, we had this conversation when he was a little younger. Some of them have double meanings. <laughs> First time I'm hearing about it. It mostly just means upside down smile. So anyone here say sorry for a lot of things they don't need. Uh, sorry because you're not the only one. Yeah, uh, usually when people over profusely apologize, I tell them not to. Um, never feel like you have to apologize, especially for feelings or or just trying to doing something you didn't know that you did. But I also do the same thing and I over apologize. Real quick, um, it might say that the connection drops for a second. I do need to brighten my screen, so I'm gonna have to pull down the brightener. Yeah, y'all know, y'all know. <laughs> it's prop sarcastic. I'm barely 90s kid, 1999. I'm a 1998 baby, so I, I feel you. Tone indicators are very helpful. I'm just learning about those. I think they're a wonderful deal, um, idea, and I think they should have been put into practice a lot sooner than they uh, are. Yes, that emoji, Adri. Me, I do that cast. Tell me 
<laughs> Bray, you're not alone. <laughs> Lifesavers. I'm 22 and I'm confused. <laughs> Some of these emojis are really useless. Although there's literally a black hole emoji. Me. I'm the black hole emoji. I'm a void. <laughs> uh, that seems like... I mean, the leaf and that emoji has a different meaning for me. Are you saying that's what the other emoji means? I mean, it could. It could be. You know, now that you're saying it, Kai, it could be. What am I drawing? I am so sorry, uh, Short Mango. Um, not sure if you gave me another name to call you by. I usually say three, three reminders and then it sticks. I have a pretty bad memory, but I'm trying to get better. Um, I'm drawing this kind of like abandoned laundromat if you will uh with nature growing everywhere um i'm trying my hand at perspective um this is kind of like my first big attempt at it so um it's really a struggle um i'm the only one that halfway understands these emojis <laughs> maybe i have an idea so on discord it shows what the emoji is oh yeah bro it just means face in the class Head in the clouds! Oh my gosh, that's so cute though! Daydreaming! <gasps> Cass, Cass, where are you Tumblr kid? I could have been, but I wasn't. I think I was very, let's say sheltered. But like, it wasn't my, my mom that was doing the sheltering, you know? It was like I put myself in the sheltered life. Because <laughs> like, I was also the kid that should have been like so into YouTube growing up and I wasn't. Like, green is not a creative color. Like, that was my middle school. And I, I had a friend who told me this. And I was like, I don't know what you're saying to me. You've got a mountain with snow. Yes. Yeah, I got that now, Kai. Thanks. You're so pretty. Thank you. What's everyone's favorite season? Mine is spring because all the greenery is growing back. I like the scenery and nature emojis, even though no one uses them. Same. I'm going to use those more. I like them a lot. Fall. Winter. Breakdown for mosquitoes. Green is not a creative color. Yes! I need to go now. Enjoy my time here, though. It was short. Bye, Adrian. Good to see you. Um, good luck on whatever you gotta do. And I hope you have a fan <clears throat> hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. And I hope you get better soon. Lots of fluids. Get well. Fall. Green is base color for all paint mixing guys. Nature equals green. Oh wait, are you talking about the green is not a creative color comment? Because that's a, that's a, it's a meme. It was a YouTube video that came out when I was in middle school. It, it, it's a meme. It's a song. Is, is that what you're referring to, Kai? Not just a random fact? Okay. Okay. I was about to be like, dang, you guys are making me feel old now. Not even that old. Do, do, do. Oh, I love the song. Crave caffeine. Go get that caffeine. Wait, is Adrian new mod? How, if now, how on earth did I not notice that? Uh, Adrian has been a mod for a bit. I haven't made anyone a new mod in a bit. Um. I just think Adrian hasn't been in in a bit, so that may be why. By Lemon Drizzle Bear, I love that name. It would be cute if there were tiny animals in the open washing machine. I'm actually okay, so I'm planning to do like a little butterfly here, right, right, and then like a little animal curled up around here somewhere. But the washer machine is gonna be completely jam packed with nature, so I'm not sure if there's room. Maybe we can do like a little a little ladybug, if you will. <laughs> I think that's a really cute idea though so thank you so much for um suggestion is slushy slushy man let me know if there's another name you rather go by rather me call you by um and your pronouns if you're comfortable sharing them um look what am I looking at pronouns oh I my name is Cass I go by she they pronouns thanks for asking it's halfway through Pride Month. It was halfway through Pride Month. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Birthday season. Yeah. I believe when over 100 people came to live. Yeah. This song is so sad. It is really sad, but I really enjoy it. It's a really pretty song. 
Oh, it's six. Ah. Raccoon? A raccoon curled up. That would be adorable. A raccoon? Little trash panda. That would be cute. Ooh, what if I did like a, a little a little someone in, in the laundry up here? Like they snuck in through the window. We'll see. I love trash pandas. A little trash panda. How cute. Um, I did so how Oh my gosh, why can't I read your comment? So how to go to the doctor for literally anything when your parent gas leaks? Oh, I'm so sorry, Kai. I know that's really frustrating. Um, good luck with all of uh, the visits that you need to see. Johnny, so good. Thank you, Short Mango. I appreciate it so much. Uh, maybe have a rabbit in the basket? Ooh. Are we gonna be calling people out on their emoji use now? Gonna be like, hmm, that emoji means something else. <laughs> uh, y'all yeah, crack me up. What is the least used emoji, um, in your opinion? Like, what a, a emoji do you use the least often? I wanna know. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. me yes i read that uh i just want to get my neck checked out because it's been a pain oh no that's so frustrating i'm sorry um definitely yeah neck neck injuries or neck pains can be really telling and they can cause like headaches i know i get a lot of headaches because i have a spine i have a spine problem not an injury just a problem uh so i get a lot of headaches so Emoji calls out, yeah. I actually go by any pronouns, most of the, mostly they, them, and just call me Slush. Okay, Slush, thanks for letting me know. Um, and welcome in. Rain, that, I didn't even know that was an emoji. That's a really cute one though. Let me see. Emoji calls out. You really, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't use that emoji either, Kai, the like bacteria germ emoji um but a lot of people started using it i think it might have been in the update that happened during quarantine but a lot of people started using it during quarantine all that are, that are not oh these are the only ones you use got that got that really love your vibes can you do a room tour um i mentioned this before in past videos but i'll let you all know so my setup here is not the best um and it's very unstable so when i get my phone set up i really don't like to move it because i will not be able to set it up back again um i am thinking about doing a room tour when i finally get my room back in order um this is not my bedroom this is my office um i do work from home though so this is a separate room um i stole it from my sister she moved out and i was like it's mine now um but no i actually just recently um the week off I did last week or a week before, I took off to repaint my office and I still have yet to put much on the walls. There's like two or three things on the walls right now, but it's pretty bare still um, because painting took a lot out of me. Um, but once I get everything back in order and everything looks how I want it to look, I will definitely do a little video room tour. So yeah. Um, but thanks for liking my vibes. I appreciate it. Any sports emoji? Felt that. Are the, what are the crystals in the back? Okay, yeah. I honestly didn't know any of those emojis were an emoji rain. That's really interesting. Thanks, Slush, for the follow. I appreciate it. My dad called me. I wasn't able to hear Cass. I got some mad. Oh, good. I'm still here. Short Mango, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, we're doing a crystal tour. Crystal tour. Did you see the new Space Jam? No, I have not. Um, I only go see movies uh, occasionally. Um... I'm holding, I'm not holding off. <laughs> I'm holding off for one more day. I'm getting my second vaccine tomorrow. I was holding off until after I went to um, a doctor's appointment because I had it coming up and I was like, well, I don't want to get bad symptoms like the flu or fever or something and then have a doctor's appointment. So I was like, eh, it's fine. Um, so I am holding off. I'm going to get my vaccine tomorrow and then I'll be good to go to be more, less of a hermit, let's say. <laughs> Okay, so crystals. This one is green calcite. Um, I've actually been wanting this one for a while. I ended up picking it up 
and then I make tarot bags on my Etsy. If you want to check out my Etsy, it is linked in the bio. Um, but I make tarot bags and I connect crystals to them. So I had bought a crystal with the intent to do that. And then I fell in love with it. And I'm like, I'm going to keep it. And literally the next day, a client or a person that ordered one of the tarot bags was like, hey, can I have green calcite on mine? And I'm like, but I wanted it. But I was like, I also bought this specifically for this reason. So I guess I have to get rid of it. So I ended up gifting it or not gifting it, but putting it on the bag to sell. And then I bought one again and then I was showing it to my friend and my friend accidentally broke it by literally just holding it. So I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so she has a piece of it and I have a piece of it now. Um, I just thought it was really funny because it deals with like stress relief. Um, and I went to go visit her and she was like, that was a huge stress relief for me. So it did its job, but I finally got it. It's finally in one piece. I got it for me. I'm not giving it away. This is mine. So this is green calcite. Not all my crystals are gonna have that big of a long backstory to it. That, this one has just been like, ugh, for such a long time. This is smoky quartz. And this one is malachite. It's really pretty. It has all those like layers to it. Like an onion, if you will. This one is quartz, clear quartz. You can see through it. This one is apophyllite. And I think I'm hoping, yeah, that's the way it is. It's like a little point. Yeah, and I think that's the ones I'm showing on screen. I have a handful more in my bedroom, a handful more in my office. Um, I don't pull them all out for every stream. I try to change them up every now and then so you guys get a new fun crystal to look at in the corner. Yeah, there we go. I also have um, right next to me is uh, obsidian, I think. Yeah, this is obsidian. It's also a good... Um, Little, I don't know. I rub it when I, I get stressed. So yeah, got, I think we gotta go. All good, Kai. I'm gonna hop off now. See you soon. Thanks, Slush, for joining. I appreciate it so much. Hope you have a great day. Um, I hope to see you again in the future. I'll be live again on Thursday. Um, have a good day. Bye. My hop off to eat. Yeah, go eat some food. Um, but yeah, crystals. Oh, it's on Hulu. I thought it was in theaters. It's on Hulu. Not gonna lie, I've not been on Hulu in a hot minute, so that might be why. It was a rough start, but it was a pretty good in the end. I'll have to check it out then. These emojis, got it. Yeah, a lot of the tools they don't use, like ever. I keep leaving by accident, all good. Pretty crystals, the moon. I was checking all my plants. Oh, I wanna hear more, I always love plant talk. Plant talk. Um. And my white princess, Philodendrion. What about your white princess, Philodendrion? I'm going to hop off. Have a wonderful day. Bye, short mango. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday, and I hope to see you again in the future. Hey, Lizzie. Welcome in. I'm no longer gremlin. I'm now magpie. I take all the shinies. Four. Four nice group points. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. Ah. I love that. I love plant growth. It makes me so happy. Um, make another portal. Boom. Um, I'm assuming that's something from Minecraft. I don't play Minecraft, so I don't really know what it is. I am drawing some plants. Plant talk. Welcome to plant talk. We talk about plants and we draw plants. Hey, Cass. Hey, Lizzie. Welcome in. Oh, gee, I'm shook. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sending photos now. I'm so happy. Can't wait to see you. Um, I have to go. Have a great day. I hope you guys have a good time here. Bye, Kyle. Thanks for joining in. I appreciate it so much. Have a great day. Hope to see you again in the future. Yeah, it's from Minecraft. Okay. Again, y'all are making me feel old. I don't do these things. I don't play these things. <laughs> yes, I loved enjoy. Thank you for enjoying and loved meeting you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, how long have you been live? About an hour now. Um, it's been an, a chill, chill stream. Um, I mentioned this is going to be a little bit of a shorter stream. Um, just like, ugh, we've just been chilling mostly. Uh, I've been trying to get some drawing in occasionally, but, um, you know, just chatting for a bit. I've had a, a, a stressful day, so I'm taking a breather. <laughs> Uh, 
um brb taking the fire stick hostage again <laughs> good luck my fire stick just broke i'm so upset like out of nowhere it was like we're just we're not gonna work and i was like why but why i accidentally scared my dog so bad she jumped in there like cat oh no puppy Um, how do I still not know when you're, like, what days? Oh, so I go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I finally, like, got a time. I know before I was, like, sometime between 4 and 5. Um, my time is now 4.30, you know, the in the average between the two times I could not make up my mind about. Um, so I go live at 4.30, Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, on TikTok. And then on Instagram, I go live on Saturdays occasionally. Um, I wasn't able to this past Saturday, but I do try to. Um, if you're ever not sure, if you want to hit my lovely face up in the corner here, and then go over here, and in this top corner, there should be a bell. If you hit that bell, it should turn on notifications, so whenever I post or I go live, you will see it. Um, thank you for the follow, uh... Sinabella? Marie? Let me know if I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Mm, I feel like I should have this go somewhere else. I know I need to add the crack. I forgot to add the... Like brokenness of the window um guess what happened i found one of my school friends on tiktok oh that's so fun Ugh, how do i want this to be broken broken glass is so weird thanks for the follow uh CRSM HA Shrima. Oh, wow. I got that really wrong. My brain just went burr. I don't know how I want this to be, bro. Good. <laughs> um, it's been a while, but I see them now, and my name is Sam. My new name is Sam. Oh my gosh. Thanks for letting me know. Um, I'll do my best to remember. I know we have a handful of Lizzie, so that might be stuck in my head. Um, but always give me a nudge, and I will only call you Sam from now on. Thanks for letting me know. Um, and congrats on the change and, and figuring yourself out. Always a confusing time, but I'm glad you have found it. Um, did I tell y'all I might be moving to Florida? Good luck, it's hot here. <laughs> but no, you didn't tell us. Uh, hope everything with the move goes well. You might see Auntie Cass. Maybe. <laughs> Lemon Time, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And Strawberry Jam, welcome. And thank you for the follow. My brain all, my brain is just like not working today. Uh, hi, I just want to come by and say I love your art and I love the progress um, right now. Goodbye. Thank you so much for saying so, Strawberry. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Um, I hope to see you again in the future. Yes, Sam. Glizzy. Are you saying that's what your name is? I'm gonna call you by it? Let me know. Uh, thank you for joining. Yeah, tis back, welcome back. Nice pronouns, yeah. Chars, My Hero Academia, got it. So you can pronounce my username Chars, My Hero Academia, got it. Do you want me to say the full thing? So like Chars, My Hero Academia, or do you want me to shorten to just Chars? Just my hero? just academia <laughs> let me know um what you prefer the best great to have you in um thanks for being here i hope you had a fantastic thursday um and let me know what to do what i can do to make your stay more comfortable we're just chilling today um so yeah i don't know how i want this to be broken i'm frustrated i'm confused about what i've taken my hostage taken hostage is fire stick oh gosh um thank you so much i just came out Ooh, congrats hi <laughs> hey thick luigi 
our morning rooster won't stop being the kazoo. Oh no. Thanks for the follow, Thick Luigi. I appreciate it so much. Sorry, I accidentally left. All good, M. Welcome back. Thanks for popping back in. Okay, I'm just gonna like close my eyes and go for it. Where it breaks, it breaks. Oh, that's a lot of breaks. But I kind of like the shape it was making. Add a little bit thicker areas. Yeah, okay. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Gotta go be back later. I'll get Sam. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Or I hope to see you again. <laughs> yes. What am I drawing? Um, I am drawing this uh, kind of like abandoned post-apocalyptic uh, laundromat. Got a lot going on. I guess that's my style. Too much detail. That is me. Hi. <laughs> but welcome in. My name is Cassie. I go by she, they pronouns. I'm a self-employed artist. Um, I do commissions and I have an Etsy shop. If you ever want to check them out, that is linked in my bio. Um, and welcome in. I hope you had a fantastic Tuesday. Let me know uh, if you want to go by a name other than your name, your username and what your pronouns are if you're comfortable with sharing. Hey, drawing, uh, digital drawings, welcome in. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Back, welcome back. I love it here. Thank you, Emma, I appreciate it. Your drawing looks really good. Thank you, digital drawings. I appreciate it so much. Welcome in. Let me know if there's a name you rather go by um, and what your uh, pronouns are if you're comfortable with sharing. My dog just looked my foot. Oh, God. I think I might do another break up here. Nom nom foot, yeah. what did I miss? I'm just working on this. Keylon, welcome in. Um, yeah, I got some work done before stream, um, and I'm currently just working on this. I haven't done too much today. Um, it's a chill day, you know? Just, just taking it slow. Yeah. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I have someone coming to pick up plants, so I think I should get them gathered. Ooh, good luck. Bye, bye, plant babies. I finally found my art style. Ooh, congrats. I know that's really struggle that is really frustrating and it can be the struggle. Um, so I'm glad you found it. Basically, semi-realistic environment picks. Ooh, I love that. That's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm glad we're doing the same thing. I mean, mine is less realistic. I don't know. Mine has a, a comic edge to it, if you will. Love you. I'll see you later. Okay, bye, Rain. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have a great day. Hope everything with the sale goes well. Or the, the plants. The plants leaving. The move of the plants. My artistic family, yeah. Oh, that was. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I just erase this. Oh no, it's not erasable. Because it's in the background. I see. What else is here that I can erase? 
Mm, I think everything's changed based on the colors. I think everything can stay as is. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my plants. I'm interested in everything on earth, but I am perfectionist, so I keep getting hyper fixated. Then got it. Uh, you told me how to say that, and I already forgot. Crit? Krish? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I already forgot. I am sorry. Do I watch anime? I do watch anime. Um, I do. I feel- Oh, no. Fairly decent besides the fact that I missed out on so many streams. All good. How does it look cool, Cass? I don't know. Kind of like the glass shower, but didn't fully break. I mean, it's gonna be- Yeah. So this part is gonna be broken. So when I go to color it, it's gonna have like a film here, like glass is still glass. And then this is gonna be just open here. Um, and I'm gonna have the plant kind of wrap around on both sides. Too many, yes, I do indeed watch too many. What's my favorite? Um, so my, my favorite right now is Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer. Um, I also do like My Hero Academia. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I enjoy a lot of anime. Yes. <laughs> um. Luna, you're fine. Don't have, don't feel like you need to apologize. Um, gotta go. I'll be back as soon as I can be. All good. Do what you gotta do. Totally understand. Anything? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do that and then I go around again. Ooh, my mom is making spaghetti. Spaghetti. I'm excited. I think I might just like poke around maybe and just like whoop. Yeah, like that. It's gonna be a long one. Spaghetti, I love spaghetti. Yeah. I got some garlic knots too I picked up the other night. I'm so excited. Bread. Um, so my eyes wanna rest, but I feel too energized, you know? I feel that. So it turns into aggressive blinking. Oh no. Um, always resting in your eyes are good, um, even if you, like, listen to a podcast or music or a TV show. Um, just give your eyes some time to, to rest. Um, uh, if y'all have seen literally any pictures, uh, videos of me and my face, I wear glasses. If you have not known, if this is a new fact, I wear glasses. Um... So yeah, there's occasionally time where my glass prescription will feel like it's too much on my eyes, and so I'll need to take them off and just like rest my eyes a lot. So I totally understand the feeling. Just go easy on your eyes. Um, they do a lot day to day, so take care of them. Happens to me all the time. Yeah. Hey Slush, welcome back. Hope you got some dinner. Hope it's good. Mm, swoop, swoop. Yeah, Cass, I say while staring at the screen four inches from my face. M me too. Mine is three inches from my face. I'm really hunched over. That's why I'm always worried that I talk too loud and you guys are like, my eardrums. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Um, because I, my face is really close to the mic, like at all times when I uh, stream. So yeah. Hey, it's Basil. Welcome in, Basil. Good to see you again. Don't know if you remember. I totally do. Love your name. Good to see you again. I hope you had a fantastic week. Um, Welcome back. We are having a chill stream, and I'm glad you popped in because I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to go. We are at 
6 o'clock, almost 6 o'clock for me. Um, I mentioned to my Discord group that I'm doing a shorter stream today um, because I uh, was feeling really overwhelmed emotionally um, from some, some things that have happened. Uh, and I just kind of needed a, a, a breather with friends to hang out, to do the hang, if you will. Um, but I don't want to overwork myself, you know? Um, but yeah, soup soup. <laughs> Now you're actually, your voice is perfect for the mic. I, oh, that makes me feel so good. When I was younger, okay. Also, y'all will never hear me sing unless it's my little tune for the trolls. I have a little tune for the trolls. They get to hear my, my, my golden, what is it? Pipes, my golden pipes. <laughs> but I used to be in chorus when I was younger. I used to sing. Um, and people used to comment how shrill my s's were when i said them on the mic and so i've always been really conscious of that um so it makes me happy to know that it's not too bad thanks for the follow did see dizzy art uh welcome in i hope you had a fantastic day um do you have manga i read manga online i don't own any physically because i am not that rich and manga gets very expensive very quickly so it's 4 p.m oh 6 p.m. for me. I'm Destiny. I'm new uh, to you. Welcome in, Destiny. Good to have you here. Let me know um, what pronouns you go by if you're comfortable with sharing. Hope you have a fantastic day. My name is Cass. I go by she, they pronouns. This is an LGBTQ safe space. You don't have to be gay, but you got to respect the gays, and that's all I ask. Um, I am a self-employed artist, and I am working on this lovely post-apocalyptic laundromat um yeah <laughs> welcome in today i bought my first sketchbook and i also tried line art but idk oh my gosh congrats proud of you i know line art can be really tricky i've been doing it for a long time and this is what i'm most comfortable with but i still struggle with it all the time so yes thank you and i'm just gonna for full measure just do that. Um, Cass' voice is perfect for the mic. Oh, you guys are so sweet. My friend finished the manga TBHK within a few days. Oh, what is that? What does that stand for? TBHK. Let me know what that means. What what manga is that? I don't know if I know it. I might. I don't know. Yeah, we don't we don't deal with haters. Just res just respect. That's all I ask. Just respect. We're not going to get into it. We're not going to have a full conversation out of it because that's what they want. Um, yeah, I shut it down immediately. I don't try to fight with them because I know there is no convincing them. If they're going to be rude, they're going to be rude. I got manga not that long ago where I live, 999. Yeah, so like manga itself for the, the individual book isn't that much, but I read pretty quickly. And so I know I'm going to want to get like a huge pack and then that's when it gets expensive when you buy multiple of them. So then it's like it adds up. So I read them online. There is a website through viz, viz.com where you can, for $2 a month, there's a subscription where you can read manga online. So I'm currently reading like Demon Slayer, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero Academia, um, Blue Exorcist. I'm reading those flying through i'm mean, flying through the human slayer so i'm so glad i did that and i'm saving so much money um yes <laughs> totally cool i do know that I, I watch the anime oh that's so cool no people are trying to make one though for some reason yeah hey sam yeah be rude off the bat get mute off the bat I have to go right now, but I'll join you next live. I love you. Oh, Destiny, thank you so much. I'll be live again on Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you have a fantastic day. It was great having you. Alola and C is so cute in my current anime right now. Ooh, that's on my list. My friend was obsessed with it and still is. I think it's really good. Oh, yeah, it was really cute. I like the anime. Watching Attack on Titan right now, though. That's on my list as well. Uh, why don't you just read them online for free? Um... I mean, there's probably a place where I found was $2 a month, a month, which is not bad at all considering the options I have. Um, so I don't mind. I, I'm just going to do what I do. I'm fine with it. 
I still do want to support um, the the authors and everything um, that create the books, the illustrators that create the books, because I know um, I always love supporting artists, especially uh, illustrators that do this. Um, I unfortunately am not financially able to pay the full amount of the book price, but I still want to support them in any way, even if that is just a little bit of a subscription. A little tiny subscription. It's my little like here. I'll do my most to help, but uh, yes. Um, also, I might get a Service Pro soon for crimes or for my P-Day. What? Um, uh, good luck on the Service Pro. Um, that sounds really cool. I have um, uh, my Hero Academia manga. That's really cool. Um, I was so sad about Demon Slayer ending. Like, it, it is a complete story with a good pacing, but Apple, no spoilers. I'm still very in the beginning of Demon Slayer. I mean, not like in the beginning. I'm past where the anime ends. Currently. But I'm still watching. I'm still reading. Oh, was that the end of the playlist? Hello? My good music? No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> good to think that you read them on. It's kind of a good thing that you read them on. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to be patient with No Game, No Life Season 2. I haven't watched that yet. It's on my list. Um, is it frustrating, though? There's a Star Wars anime called Visions coming out, and I'm so psyched. Ooh! Oh, sorry. I hope I don't sound pushy. Oh, no! I don't- I don't even know- I, I don't know if I saw that message. I don't think you sounded pushy. Uh, for Christmas. Got it, got it. I saw crimes, and I was like, should I not know about this? Please don't tell me about these crimes. For a second season uh currently laying sideways with my ear in the neck hole of my pillow <laughs> to train for a piercing yes that's always good to train for a piercing because once you get the piercing it's really tough to sleep it's kind of good that you're reading manga online because they're so confusing got it yeah it was my like i just recently got into reading manga before i i literally just got into watching anime at the beginning of quarantine and just started reading manga like four months ago maybe so i'm very new to it and i didn't want to drop an arm and a leg um just to get a handful of books um until i knew if i liked this or not you know you know we'll see disney has uh it all the tales of ladybug and cat noir hmm. all right i'm caught up i'm caught up finally Very thick. What time is it? 6.02. Hmm. I'll probably go for another 15 minutes. Um, so we're going to be wrapping up soon. Again, short stream today. I'll be back on Thursday. Fingers crossed. I'm good. I am getting my second um, vaccine, my COVID vaccine tomorrow. Um, I will keep you all updated um, with how that goes. Depending, I might have uh, side effects. Hopefully I don't, but I might. Um, so I might have to cancel if I do get the worser side of the side effects, um, but if not, I will be live on Thursday. Kai, it's all good that you don't uh, like the show, but there's a lot of people in uh, the community that do really like the show, so just let them chat about it. Um, totally okay. Totally okay. I mixed okay and good together. Wild. Um, if you don't like it, though, everyone's uh, open to their own opinions. Anyone got some good recommendations for animes? For me, it looks like I'm scratching the surface. Same slush. I feel you. Um, I'm... Oh, no. I'm currently uh, watching... What am I watching? What am I watching? Good question. Uh... Uh, oh, The Disastrous Life of Psyche K and Kuroko's Basketball? It's a sports anime. I really liked Haikyuu, so I'm watching the basketball one. It's pretty good. I'm on season two. I think it's just because the new season started that it's a little slow. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm watching. 
Uh, but, 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 but. I do really enjoy Jujutsu Kaisen. If you have not watched it, highly recommend it. I loved the show so much. What app do you use? I, like, here? I'm using Procreate here, Sam. Um, my Hero Academia is also a very good one. I, that was the first anime I showed my mom, and she really enjoyed it. Uh, one that my mom absolutely loved was Demon Slayer. Oh, I'm sorry, Luna. Um... No, all good, Kai. Just want to make sure that we, we aren't making people uncomfortable. You feel? Um, yeah, I used to watch Miraculous a lot when I was a younger. <laughs> Not too much younger, but a little bit. Um, I think I kept up with it until like season two or three. Um, I haven't really been into it lately, and I don't really have a want to get back into it. Um, I think that, that, that time has just passed for me. Um, but I saw the appeal. I thought it was, I thought it was a good show. Um, so for those that still watch it, continue on. Water and ibuprofen? Yeah. Ooh, oh gosh. If you like Demon Slayer, I suggest, uh, No Seraph, Seraph of the End. Yes. Salem also told me to watch those. I haven't watched them yet, but I, they're on my list. Yes. Everyone has their likes and dislikes. All good, Luna. Get some help. I lose interest. Got it. Yeah. I did feel that too. Like, there was a good concept behind it, but at times it did feel a little too young for, for me. Um, so I was losing interest in it. In mangas, you have read it from left to right, not... In mangas, you have to read it from right to left, not left to right. Yes. That is true. Um, bye, Luna. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, can you use it on Android? Um, Procreate? No, it is an iOS product, so it can only be used on Apple products. Um, I'm using it on an iPad Pro. Um, that's what I have. Uh, if you are interested in finding a cheap slash free um, digital art program, there are plenty that we can recommend for you. Oh, I'm doing it on the wrong, the wrong layer. How much did I do on the wrong layer? Oof, I'm upset now. It's okay. Okay, now we just gotta undo, 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 undo. Um, so some of the free slash cheap uh, digital programs that you'll be able to use on multiple devices, not just Apple, is gonna be stuff like Medibang, M-E-D-I-B-A-N-G. Krita, K-R, I, actually I think Krita costs money. <laughs> Give me a second, I have like a whole thing on my Discord about cheap or free digital art programs um, in the resources. Where's the resources? Where did I put, oh, it's in art, that's right. Resources, give me a second. Okay, so Krita is free. Krita is K-R-I-T-A. It's a free program. Clip Studio Paint is a one-time payment of $50, but it is often on sale for 50% off, so $25, one-time payment. Um, I hear a lot of good things about Clip Studio Paint, if that's what interests you. Paint, paint Studio, what is wrong with my voice? Paint Tool Sai is a one-time payment of $50. I don't think it goes on sale. Medibang, I said before, is free. Procreate is only on Apple. Um, it's a one-time payment of $10, but it is Apple only. Affinity Designer is a ve vector program, so not really drawing, but more vector-based. And then you have Adobe Photoshop, which is $20, $21 a month subscription service. So that gets very, very, very pricey, and I do not recommend. Um, unless you can get some good deals out there for Procreate, not Procreate, for Photoshop. Um, okay, this is a spooky song. Um, and those are my recommendations for digital programs, digital drawing programs. If there are any others out there, um, please, people in the chat, let uh, Sam know. Cost $10, yes. Voltron is a good show. Yeah, Voltron Le Legendary Defender. I liked it. That was one that I, I'm trying to get back into because I think I got to season five. I think there's seven seasons in total and I got to season five and, and dropped off. Um, so I kind of want to get back into it to just see how it ends, um, but I haven't yet. 
they're still great food. Yes. Uh, I use free digital art program on Android. It's muddy bang and it's more technical and harder. Ibis Paint. Ibis Paint is another one. It is a good free drawing program. I'll have to add that to my list on the resources page. Sorry, watching Mac was in 2020 and I quit watching in 2021. Got that. Crit is free. Yes. Gotta go, guys. All good, Kai. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. I mean, if you're not interested in anime, don't feel like you have to watch it, AJ. Not everyone um, likes it, and that's totally fine. It's not for everyone. Oh, gosh. I'm really behind. Hey, Wonderland. Okay, okay I'll try. Okay. Yeah. Try them out, Sam. Let us know what you think. Um, now the song is really quiet. <laughs> Welcome in Wonderland. I'm only probably going to go for another five minutes or so. Um, yeah, short stream today. Yeah, just to hang out, just to chill. Chill day. Um, I saw someone earlier asked uh, what everyone's favorite song is. Um, I usually listen to playlists, so I don't really have a favorite song per se. I do have favorite podcasts, though, if you guys are interested in hearing my favorite podcast. I'm a podcast nerd, if you will. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's funny to see anime and manga being sad and any other deep genres, um, and there's a community being... Oh. As long as people aren't insulting me, I don't mind nicknames. All good. Okay. That's good to know, Apple. I want to make sure no one's being insulting here. Everyone is comfortable. If anyone makes a nickname for you that you are not comfortable with, please let us know. And we will correct that because this is a safe space. Why can't I get this line right? Just just do the line. Do the thing. Um, I don't... Wait. I don't want to just want to know oh is there some something i can do to become a mod i don't want to i just want to know um so i only make mods when i really truly need them um i haven't really needed them recently maybe just for like a handful of trolls here and there um i made a lot of people mods back in june pride month because i was working on the pride snakes and i tiktok put me on the wrong side of tiktok um and i got 300 haters um just saying the nastiest things to me so i did make people um i was comfortable with mods at that point what makes me want to make someone a mod is if they've been in my chat longer than a handful of times um so they've joined a handful of live streams with me and if just by their personality if i feel like i can trust them um to be a mod and to help me out um because i don't want people doing the opposite and just making a stressor for me um so Salem and Corn have been with me probably since my second ever live stream. Um, so they're like kind of my main, main mods. Um, and then I have a handful of other mods that helped me out when I did have a huge influx of trolls um, that those few times during June. Thank you so much for the gifts. I appreciate it so, 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 so much. I thank you. <laughs> um, no, there isn't cast ads mod when cast needs to. Yes. Hey, that one lonely artist. I hope you're not lonely anymore because I'm also an artist. Welcome in. I hope you had a fantastic day. Thanks for the follow, Bailey. Give me something you like. Anything. Food, anime, color, object. I love that. Yes, Bailey, thank you for, so much for the rose. I appreciate it. I'm a giant Star Wars nerd. Does that count? Ooh.
Hey Cass, I'm kind of in an art block. Any ideas? Um, so whenever I'm in an art block, I always try to change my scenery. Um, I can always give you ideas, but I also want to give you some tips on how, if I'm not here to give you ideas on what to draw. Um, on some tips on how to move past the art block, I get them a lot. I always try to change my scenery. Thank you so much for the butterflies, Bailey. I appreciate it so, 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 so much. I love them. They're so pretty. Um... But yes, always try to change up your scenery. Sometimes you just kind of get, um, I don't know, disinterested when you're in the same spot drawing all the time. And maybe you'll find something that inspires you when you change up the scenery. Um, but as far as ideas go, uh, I think shapes made in a fish is a really cool idea. I always love when you make like just draw up blobs and then try to make something out of that blob. Love those things. Um, so you can always try that out. Love that idea to just kind of loosen you up. If you want something specific to draw, my go-to is always telling my uh, my followers to draw mushrooms because I think they're really cute. Uh, they can really be any shape or size that you want. You're really not messing up what a mushroom looks like. Um, and they can just be really fun. So uh, some mushrooms if you want some uh, something concrete to draw. But if you just want to loosen up uh, draw some blobs and try to make shapes out of them. Try to make art out of it. Um, yeah. Today I showed my mom my OC and she said they're a murderer, right? I was like, yes, how did she know? <laughs> you did something right with that character design. Uh, wait. Oh, you talking about the the M word? I won't say it if it makes you uncomfortable. If that makes you uncomfortable, we can just make sure we don't say that word. Um, yes. Uh, has anyone watched Violet Evergarden? No, it's on my list though. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be aware that some people uh, may be very uncomfortable with some of the things we say. Yes, I love Violet Evergarden. It looks really good. Yeah. I can't wait to watch it. It's okay. Some are uncomfortable with that word. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? I think it might be. Yep. It's my time. All right. We didn't really get too far. I just did some vine roots. Um, I was mostly just to hang and chill with you guys. Mostly. Um, hopefully by the next time we go live, we can start coloring. I'm excited to color this piece. It's going to be a lot. Um, do you ever just 360 the canvas when drawing digital, even if it's not necessary? I mean... What do you mean, like, oh, what is this? What is this? That's so pretty, uh, Bailey. Thank you for the treehouse. <gasps> I love that. Oh. Um, I don't know if you mean, like, just, like, that. I'm, not really. Um, I occasionally do the flip like you're supposed to. I always forget to flip the canvas. Um, but this really helps with the perspective and um, if you're doing a character design it really helps with anatomy to make sure everything is even and correct um but that's about it i don't know if you what you mean by that so yeah um hey happy sorry to ask what pronouns you use yes I watched uh first episode four months ago oh no she heard from me okay all right so i'm gonna head on out um, I want to be able to draw that good. I'm working on it bad though. Uh, real quick, Bailey, we don't do this here. We do not put down our own art because art is subjective. I will bring up the case where literally a few months ago, someone sold an invisible sculpture for $18,000. Invisible. It was invisible. So art is subjective. Um, there is, are plenty of like super successful comic artists that literally do stick figures um and i'm not so successful i'm struggling to be successful and i do art like this so art is really subjective just do whatever makes you comfortable um and if you want to grow to be at a different point than when you are now that is completely fine don't put where you are now down 
because if you look at where you've come from you've probably come a very long way in your arts um, and practice does make perfect so keep on drawing don't put yourself down because then that's just going to make you not want to draw more um, so always appreciate your art and where you're coming from and I look back at art I didn't like and I'm like well that's fine because at that point I wasn't ready to be here but I understand what I learned from those drawings I incorporate in these art now so I did learn a lot from when I was drawing before um, I hope that helps never put your art down because art is hard art is very hard <laughs> um bye um I hear academia thanks for coming in uh do you think to draw art is good for beginners at drawing it always depends. Um, some people prefer digital art starting out. Some people prefer traditional art starting out. Some people prefer painting. Uh, so it really depends on whatever you feel comfortable with. I can't generalize because everyone is different. You know, I started out traditionally. Um, I wish I would have gone digitally a lot sooner than I did, but that's completely fine because I'm digital now and I'm really enjoying it. If you don't, that's okay. I can come with more. Oh, no, no. Uh, it depends. Case is traditional is easy for me, but I plan on getting digital soon. Yeah. Thank you so much for more roses. I appreciate it so, 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 so much. Thank you. I can draw anatomy, but not hands or faces. All good. Listen, I struggle with hands and faces too. Um, I struggle with character design. I struggle with anatomy, and that's why I haven't done characters in a bit. But I do have a character that I'm excited about. Um, it has nothing to do with the comic. If you know me from my comic, it has nothing to do with my comic. Comic is still on a huge hiatus um, because I'm not ready to work on it just yet again. Um, but I'm slowly getting back into character design slowly. It's just hard. So many artists have struggles with, with different things. Even professional artists that have been in the business for years and years and years still struggle with something. Um... <laughs> anyways i'm gonna head out now i got spaghetti with my name on it spaghetti some meat not not meatballs you know when your mind just automatically says spaghetti and meatballs that's what i was thinking but i don't eat meat so no meatballs spaghetti and garlic knots that's what i have waiting for me and i'm excited um oh i'm actually heading out kiwan i'm sorry it's a short stream today um i didn't want to push myself too much because i had an emotional day um kind of a stressful day so I just wanted to hang for a bit, draw a little bit, um, but yeah, I'll be back on Thursday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you keep missing my streams and you want to make sure that you see them, or if it's your first time here and you want to make sure that you come back, um, feel free to hit my profile and then hit the, noti the, the bell, notification bell in the other corner, um, and it should notify you the next time I go live, um, and I hope to see you guys again in the future. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Finger hearts. Okay, I can have the rest of the Good rest of your day. Thank you. Finger hearts, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should tell you guys about. If you ordered from me, your package went out yesterday. I sent out all packages yesterday. Um, if you ordered. Uh, I don't think I have any more orders just yet. So, all packages are out. You'll get yours soon. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh that's so cute i need to see those vans i'm not a vans person i'm a dark martins person but i need to see these okay that's it that's all i wanted to say <laughs> you drag me in with the dink the dinky shoes i want them i want them all right have a great day bye everyone oh that's not what i want to hit